A group of San Diegans is calling for the return of civil discourse to politics. Political movers and shakers are gathering Monday to host the first annual community conference on restoring civility to civic dialogue. Many analysts are predicting this to be a record year for negative attack ads. Can the tide be turned? I'll speak with political scientist and conference moderator Carl Luna in just a moment. But first, here's a clip of two GOP candidates attacking each other over attack ads. But you know, this ain't this ain't a beanbag. Uh, we're going to come into a campaign. We're going to describe the differences right. between us. Wait, wait, uh, but I, but I do sure. think, ahead, but I do think the rhetoric, Mr. Speaker, I, I think was a little over the top. You think my rhetoric was well, over the top, I, I, but your ads were totally reasonable. I, I, I just want to understand. I, again, no, I've taken again, the governor's Mr. advice. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, the the super PACs that are out there running ads, with Ron Paul's, mine, yours. As you know, that is not my ad. I don't write that ad. I can't tell them well, not to. Well, how about to. this? Would you, and, both, but, would but you I, both agree I, but, but to but take these Speaker, super PAC ads Speaker, down? But, Mr. Speaker, I, I wouldn't call some of the things you, you've called me public. I think that's just over the top. Joining me to talk about San Diego's conference on the return to civil dialogue is event moderator and political scientist Carl Luna. Carl, thanks for coming back to the show. Nice to be here. So is this what we're talking about, what we just saw? Yeah, you know, we've gone from Lincoln Douglas to you know, Romney Gingrich, and it hasn't been a pleasant journey. So, uh, as mentioned in this video clip, and I think what a lot of analysts have said, that, it, you know, is it because of these super PACs where you have endless amounts of money and, and candidates can have some, some deniability? The super PACs are definitely making the problem worse. They're exacerbating it because now candidates can say, I didn't do this. You know, the godfather didn't put the head in the producer's bed. His henchmen did. Most of the people who run the super PACs work for the candidates. But we've been on a trajectory toward negativity for about 20, 25 years. 1980, when Ronald Reagan ran for president, he didn't run one negative ad. The candidates today, 50 to 75 percent negative. Negative is easier to sell than positive. So was there a turning point in terms of when ads became negative? In the 90s, you started to see the move in that direction as a lot of social divide developed in America. The modern media with AM talk radio, with uh, cable news networks, have created an echo chamber where people are used to hearing their point of view and they like negative stuff said about the other guy or they get turned off by the process and they don't show up to vote. Let's turn to local politi politics now. Race for mayor, it's a pretty, he pretty heated race. Have we crossed a line in that race? So far, the candidates are staying relatively civil in the campaign. There have been negative statements made about each other. Nathan Fletcher became an independent. He was attacked by both the left and the right of the, of the candidates on his flip-flop, etc., personal attack. Uh, I think as you get closer to the June primary, you might see a tendency toward negativity to going up. And in the uh, fall election, that could be an issue. And we'd like San Diegans to say, look, all of our candidates want a better city. Let's debate the issues about what will make us a better city and stay away from the personal attacks. They don't help the dialogue. You mentioned Nathan Fletcher, the act itself, him leaving the party and becoming an independent. Do you think that was a manifestation of exactly what we're talking about? According to his campaign, that was the issue. Now, some pundits are saying there was a political triangulation. It's probably a little bit of each. But bottom line, Republican and Democrat as a brand have lost a lot of their luster because their elected officials simply can't get together, be it locally or nationally, and reach the compromise a lot of people in America and San Diego know we need to have. Now, you mentioned this is what people want. They want civility back into the discussion. But when you look at these talk shows that you mentioned and you look at ratings and you look at numbers or even the clip that we, we showed, I mean, things that get all of the hits on YouTube, it's the fireworks. It's, you know, it is exactly what we're saying people don't want. But if they're watching it and they're listening to it, what does that say? Well, they're actually not. If you go back to the 1950s, 60s, 70s, we all watched the same network shows, and we'd all hear the message. And if it was negative, it didn't work well. But now you've got a Rush Limbaugh show. A couple million people see it. You've got a YouTube hit. 90,000 or a million people see it. This isn't like the days when 40, 50, 60 million people would watch the same thing. And you got a real idea of what Americans were interested in. What we have is niche. People play to the niche. In these primary elections, a small number of people turn out to vote, and you're dealing toward the lowest common denominator to get those votes. You're not generating the broad, popular message like a Ronald Reagan, like a John Kennedy would have, to aspire us to our better angels. So tell me a little more about Monday, what your aim is. Well, this event 
grew out of a process developed by the Catfish Club and the, and the Reverend George Walker Smith, who's been an icon in the San Diego community for many years. The goal of this process that's come out of the, the original meeting last fall was to bring as many San Diegan community leaders, politicians, candidates for office together in one place. USD, we're going to do one on Monday. We're going to have a panel discussion for about an hour talking about what civility is, things like we're talking about here, but then get the group together to talk about what are some basic rules we can aspire to? Things we used to think we learned in kindergarten, you know, how you should behave toward others. How can we start adapting that in our day-to-day -day discourse, in our newspapers, in the media, in our political events? Quickly, Carl, where can people find out more? Is there a website? Yeah, go to University of San Diego's website, sandiego.edu slash civility. Great. Carl Luna, thanks for being here. Thank you for having us.